So, speaking Patois for me has always been like um, uh, a thing that is so much um, sort of like a, a family heritage to me because, I mean, just being back home, it's like, you know, it's so free and natural for me to talk Patois and talk like the way that I talk. And it's, most, of, most of it is pretty much English in a way, you know, it's like, it's just the the accent the accent in my voice and sometimes when i speak um like real deep patwa because i'm from pretty much like the northeast side of the caribbean um jamaica and it's just like um when i speak the real deep patwa like most people that i talk to can't even understand what i'm saying you know it's it's just like, like what are you saying like what are you talking about and even people who are from like other islands can't even understand me because um, my accent is so deep and it's just like, man, speak English, you know? So it's like, I usually, when I'm here, like cut off, there's a cut off point for me. It's like, I, I, I talk Papua, but um, I choose to, to talk to my family more in Papua because the only them can understand what I'm, what I'm saying most of the time. And it's, you know, it's, it's sort of like a switch. I'm flipping the switch, the, the, the switch off and on. Like every time I'm talking to somebody it's in the street, it's just like you know, um, with this accent, um, but it's in English and they can understand what I'm saying. But um, most of the the gibberish that I talk is just like you know, speaking to like a family member or somebody that I know that's from from I, from the yard, you know. And it's just like um, I I talk to them that way because they can understand me mostly, and you know. Um, well, it's sort of like uh, mostly giving direction because the most of the things that I've been saying is just like you know if I'm talking to you, it's just like I'm coming, I'm coming back, I'm going, you know, I'm like go down the street. But it's just like only people who, who pro is from where I'm from would probably understand that because it's just like a lazy way of saying I'm going down a few blocks. It's not necessarily like a descriptive word of um, you know giving you a full direction of where i'm going so it's just the same thing with the language and anything that i'm saying so that's why i choose most of the talk um with an accent rather than talk like the dialect you know <laughs> um but definitely like if we're talking if we're talking and we're having a conversation i could, I could definitely talk but um would use the the accent you know use my accent but you, you hear like most of the words that i'm saying is just like with an accent but is mostly English with like an int of patwa, you know? Um, yeah, because I mean, it's kind of tough, it's kind of tough to like you know sit down and, and seriously have a uh, uh, like a really bona fide conversation with somebody who kind of like wouldn't understand what anything that I'm saying because most most of the things that I say is like, like I said before, it's like a piece of the puzzle and. Like when I say it to the person that understands, it's just like they get it right away. It's just like very like like I'm I'm showing them a picture, but I'm using words. So it's like I'm a typographer, but um, every everything that I'm using, like the, I'm using words as a picture, in a sense, you know. Um, yeah, so so that, that's the that's the gist of the most most of the conversation and like um, how we do things, you know, back home. Dig that. <laughs>